such as it is. And here we are. Welcome to our Beal Team Health Games, Games call, <laughs> Zoom call. And it is, gee, this is the hardest part, remembering what day it is. The April 14th, 14th yeah. the day before you know what. <laughs> when we need to have our taxes done if we haven't already, or uh, an extension prepared, I guess. So we welcome Larry and we welcome Barb, and also those who will listen to the, playback. who will listen and watch the playback uh, hereafter. So uh, let's just uh, we we have a topic prepared for tonight, but before we do it, let's just chat about how things are going. Do you have any questions or need uh, us to cheer you on and encourage you? Because uh, that's what all of us are here to do, even you to encourage us in what we do, because we find this very encouraging to us, even though we are yeah have been doing this a while. So any big discoveries this past week that you'd like to share? Well, I talked you this morning because I've been so frustrated with myself so <laughs> I don't know and she helped me she helped me think about some different things so that's good good uh, I, I, I know after 38 years of knowing being married to this woman that she's a good anti-flusterer <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it's part of what we pay her to do right hey you know what could even announce do you guys remember that we oh were, yeah we were this is a big a, thing a contest for our games and mm -hmm. remember what it was to, to the most people invited joined the team yeah that's right and we had probably four or five different people who brought one new person on and so i thought well how am i going to figure out who to win the 25 bucks how to break the tie yeah and so uh, and it was so i thought i'm gonna look at everybody's page to see who invited the most people and there were two people who invited people and i don't know how many people they invited all i know is that they got the full 140 points which means that you invited every day for every 14 day. days anyway and there were two people who got that but only one of them who had a person join. So the winner is Larry. Larry. <laughs> yeah, Larry's the winner. <laughs> and as, especially since you are present to win, you you win. <laughs> There's no drawing, it's just how it works. So congratulations. And I will figure out how to do your PayPal account. Is that okay to do it on PayPal? Sure, yeah. Okay, what's your PayPal account name? I <laughs> know. I not tell you. I don't, I don't know. Um, do they have names? Or it's your email names? address. Email address. Email is yes. uh, rlpetrie12 at msn.com. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'll, yeah. <laughs> so, way to go. Way well, to this, this is a proud day. Excellent. It is. It is. I, <laughs> I didn't even think I was in the running for that one. Well, and I think it's impressive that there were uh, three or four others who brought brought people in. Folks, it's just brand place. new to mm -hmm. this this game, and so you actually you brought in Rebecca. She listed Larry as the person who brought her, and then oh. her guy, uh, what's his name? Oh. Her boss, Jeff, or is it Jeff? Yeah, mm -hmm. Jeff came and he listed her as his contact but really they belong to you but still so you you won both ways you know so well thank you <laughs> yeah well excellent anyway congratulations you're awesome <laughs> well shall we bust into our topic for the night take it away all right we're going to talk tonight about another habit of health and it is the idea of eating small balanced meals every two to three hours throughout the day and you've picked up on that as you have read uh, your readings uh, every day that you've been part of these games <clears throat> and uh, so as we launch into that 
is that something that you were doing before the games to to eat a number of small meals before rather than just the three square meals that we grew up eating okay not not until i joined the challenge in september did i start conscientiously trying to get a snack in between the the regular three but i think i was eating the wrong snacks too i i got you there <clears throat> and i've also heard people say that they have gone from eating three large meals to eating six large meals six <laughs> large meals <laughs> and that's not exactly the idea either not quite so the idea is to eat healthy meals uh balanced and we'll come back to that term of, of balanced in a second barb is it something that you were doing before the games to eat uh half a dozen times during a day i would eat not just six meals i'd eat all day long i think <laughs> <laughs> And, and you know, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt that maybe you were just perfectly doing it in a perfectly healthy way. But <laughs> I think that many of us don't, or or that if we do know it, it takes an awful lot of effort to uh, come up with with balanced, healthy meals. That many of them. So that word balanced. What does that mean? Anyone raise your hand to tell us what balanced means? Mr. Petrie. As I understand it, it's important to balance the carb intake with an appropriate amount of protein to make sure that you're getting too much carb starch, whatever, to overload your system, mess up the insulin. That, that's exactly what it means, that, uh, that we try to balance the proteins and carbs as closely as possible. Not that you have to be a 100% match, but um, that's, a, that's a great thing. Welcome, Melanie. Glad you're joining us. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're talking tonight about the importance of eating uh, small balanced meals every two to three hours throughout the day. Mm. Okay. And um, yes, and in fact, the balancing them that way with, with appropriate proteins to match the carbs is what uh, is most satisfying as well that, that makes it so that you aren't ready to eat five minutes after you've had your carbs because that's kind of how I am. And that's, how, that's why something like cookies are such a, a danger food for me is that not many proteins in the cookies that I choose. <laughs> And uh, gee, if I uh, <clears throat> am having a bad binge, I could eat a whole lot of cookies. <laughs> and uh, certainly, those aren't the healthiest of carbs. But um, the, so the healthy, balanced meals is a great thing. Now, let's see. Some of you are familiar with the meal replacements that we occasionally talk about here, and those are a great option those portion controlled meal replacements because they already come to you balanced and, and with an appropriate uh, portion size with, um, with limited calories. But you can do the same thing on your own, <clears throat> you know, to mix uh, a half apple with a string cheese or a cottage cheese with a, you know, with, with a protein of your choice. So- um, With a carb. With, with a, thank you, with a carb of your choice. So uh, enough about <clears throat> that part. Let's chat about um, some other things that can help you make this a lifelong habit. In addition to the, <clears throat> the small meals that we have during the day, I mean these, these smaller meals, then we, we have a meal where we mix, uh, often we call it the lean and grain, unless you're not on a program for you, that term is familiar to you, but it's the, the same kind of deal and, and more calories uh, so that you have enough to sustain life and the energy that you expend during a day. <clears throat> and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, those meals that you fit, uh, fix yourself, you can split those up, you know, if you want to have uh, them in one meal. If you want to have a larger serving of chicken, for instance, with with some healthy 
um, proteins, low glyce I mean yeah, carbohydrates, protein. low glycemic, then you can do that. I find that um, that a lot of chicken is I enjoy it more when I split it in half and have half of it at lunchtime and the other half at dinner time. It just kind of suits my desires a little bit better. You know, Barb and I were talking today about um, you know, when you're just maintaining and eating healthy, the idea of we took we brought up the roast beef sandwich. Remember, Barb? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what I don't know, I don't know if you agreed with what I said, Barb. But we're talking about you know you take one of those nice big roast beef sandwiches, and you know really portion control the big deal. So if you were to buy one and bring it home and cut it in thirds, and wrap up two thirds of it, and have one third, and have it with you know more salad or something like that that probably would be as much that you'd want to have for one of these six meals. You know, if you ate the whole sandwich, then chances are pretty good you're going to go overboard on calories for the day. Just because our country is so yeah. um, big sized. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So if you think about, you know, in just regular eating, to keep those portions small, that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, another item, another suggestion to help uh, make this nutrition uh, a lifelong habit is to track your meals. Sometimes we talk about fitness pals and other options. It's not just fitness pals, but fitness pal is one that seems to be a very popular one to keep track of what you're eating. And it also helps you to know portion size and to keep things under control. And, um, any of you do a fitness pal or a, a similar thing to keep track of, of what you're eating? I try to, but I haven't, I, I, uh, if I don't start doing it first thing in the morning, then I, and I have to catch up, you know, like at four o'clock PM and try to remember all the things I ate and all that. I don't feel very motivated, but if I start first thing in the morning, I really like doing it. I just need to commit better because I know it helps. No, that's excellent. I know what you mean, you know, even on our, uh, when we check in for the, the health games, if I have it written down the things that I ate early on, I, I'm not sure. Isn't yeah. That well, used to, it just, not, not that I can't remember, but it's just kind of a hassle. Uh -huh. And my fitness pal is easy. It's easy if you just do a couple items, but if you have to do like five or six or eight things that you ate that day, it's like, uh, I'll just start tomorrow. <laughs> but, you know, it's if you just kind of keep up on it and every time you eat, just go hurry and just do it. Or even as you're eating it, just enter it in. I need to do better because <laughs> I know it really helps me. But I just get lazy. So, And, you know, if you do the fitness pal, great. You know that because it does some fun calculating for you. You can also just journal it in, in a book, in a in a yeah. book or something. In fact, um, a couple of years ago, I heard someone say that that he recorded his food before he ate it, and a lot huh. of times it would help him not eat something unhealthy. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> anyway, if that helps, that's that's a little gimmick, maybe. Uh -huh. I've been using that TSFL dashboard. Do you like and, it? and I find that in the past, I really hate looking up the calorie counts on things and trying to calculate or figure it out or go find all of the ingredients and put it together. And so it, for me, the success yeah. is going to come from one of these things that kind of calculates it for you, helps you. And, and I've added several things to the dashboard. You can add a food. Oh, yeah. And, and then off the label, you know, you, you portion out all the ingredients and the calories and the fat and stuff like that. But when you said, you know, he was journaling before he ate them, I found that I'll, I'll have in mind what I want to eat or what I'm going to, and I'll put it down, and I'll see the portion, the, the balance. Uh -huh. And a couple of days I've seen, whoa, I'm way over on the carbs. I need more protein. I was going to eat this, but let's see, what can I – can I get in there that's going to boost the protein without boosting the fat or the, or the carbs? And, so, and, and to keep the pie chart even, that's, that's, that's been kind of fun. 
and in a way that has helped keep me on track. That's a great idea. Huh. Welcome, Peggy. Hello there. Someone else has just joined us. The last four numbers are 1666. Oh, it's Kathy. Yeah, it's Kathy. Okay. Welcome. Great. Thank you. We're, we're talking about eating a number of small meals during the course of a day, balanced meals every two to three. Okay. Days. Getting some good ideas as we talk about things. Here's another um, <clears throat> consideration that most of us eat. Uh, well, I, I guess I shouldn't say that, but I think that most of us eat with the idea of, well, I, I need to get full, you know, I mean, I, I've got stuff to do, so I've got to get full. But in <laughs> fact, as we eat every two to three hours, a better way of thinking about it is to eat, to not be hungry or to be not hungry, I guess is the better way of saying it, even though it's a little hard to say. Because um, all you have to remember is that yeah, in a couple of hours you get eat, eat something else and, and uh, you don't need to have that literally the caveman mentality of you, you've got to eat while the eating is good, <laughs> while, while the dead tiger is sitting in front of you. <laughs> because our, 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 our modern lives uh, make it pretty easy to get food. So <laughs> we're not, not having a start. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's true. And I think one of the other things is, is even though you maybe sit down to eat something and it doesn't look like it's very much, man, if you eat it and then you wait for it a little bit, mm -hmm. you're totally satisfied. So yeah, that's so very true. It's easy to pack it in though. <laughs> so um, I, I liked what Larry said about, uh, about when he puts things into the TSFL tracker, that if he sees that he's a little low on protein, to add some protein and being careful of the fat and, and other things as well. And so that's a, a good thing to, to get clear on what is a carbohydrate and what's a protein to practice mental sorting, you know, even as you go through a grocery store to say, oh, look, I'm going through this aisle and this is mostly a carbohydrate aisle. And, you know, because I remember at the beginning when I was trying to understand carbohydrates, wow, I had no idea that the whole world was carbohydrates. <laughs> Everything from bread to fruit. <laughs> and, um, you know, carbohydrates often get a bad rap because we often think of, of cookies and donuts and so forth, which are very much carbohydrates. But some some excellent life sustaining things that are also figure in and, and eat and healthy ones so the idea of practicing the sorting until we're clear and of course uh, there are a lot of items that are a good mix of of carbs and proteins already i i have grown to love legumes as in beans and that sort of thing because when you look at the labels, uh, they're pretty close to balanced as it is, whether you're talking about a can of chili or pinto beans or, uh, so I've, I've really grown to like beans. Looking at labels, um, even helping others in our family or people that we are around, helping to help them figure a protein to go with that carb, for instance. Well, like Larry, when you get together with your daughters next, you guys are going to be watching what you eat because <laughs> three of you are on our challenge. So that's fun. It is fun when it becomes a family thing and Melanie and Anthony's on the challenge with us too. And so when we get together, we always try to have healthy stuff, you know. Well, I've got to be successful too because one of, one of my invitees that I've invited the last couple of times is a brother-in-law. And I think he's kind of sitting back to see if I'm successful, if it works, because he's, he's uh, very skeptical about things like that. And he doesn't have a lot to lose. He's in pretty good shape and all, but, but he asked me, I've talked about being on this and he asked me, uh, well, what, what's a, what is the program? What do you do? And this and that. So I think he's interested in, in finding something. So I've got to, 
I'm going to show him some results, and then I think maybe he'll join one of these times. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's just great. That's and that's excellent motivation. I yeah. think it put, keeps you on target. And, you know, it's a uh, we we talked last week about the importance of of finding role models um, in our own support, and how wonderful to turn that around and be a role model for somebody else. Even those of us who are here on this Zoom call together, look at us supporting one another, huh? Look at Peggy. You look great, Peggy. I can tell you look you you're losing weight. I I just actually I was at, at my at book club, the one of the girls said, I can tell you're losing you've lost weight. And I said Yeah, so I've made my three percent. I'm a little bit over that. So Wow, look at you. you and you still have so many days left. Most excellent, yes. Yes, so it was most excellent. That's so great. That's great. And Larry, party I was going to... What? <laughs> I said party on, Garth. Most excellent. <laughs> most excellent. <laughs> Kathy, <laughs> Kathy, you should tell him about... She just joined the game like two days ago. <laughs> and she told me, I still want to lose my 3%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I decided that. everybody need everybody needs a challenge. <laughs> right. So she joins with two weeks left and she's gonna get her three percent off during that two weeks. So you know, I didn't show I actually I think I think I will. Good girl. That's so great. Good. Yeah. I love to read the uh the confession of Denise Boyers. Did you where was, it, where was that with that just on any other? I think it's on uh it was about the Beale team healthy game That's it. thing. That's it. Yeah. So she's still uh, part of that, but she's not part of this challenge this time. She wanted to sit out this challenge, the April challenge. <laughs> so did Larry, it looked like you read her. her she's kind of regretting that sitting out. Uh, the, the donuts got her, right? <laughs> and bagel. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I remember reading that. <laughs> <laughs> got the best of her. And you know, lest we, um, uh, yeah, we we all understand that, right? I oh mean, yeah, and how donuts can can become your master. We're you uh, one decision it. away. <laughs> oh, so much! I just love that, though. So we will probably see her in May. I <laughs> we might. I hope so. She's. Yeah, I've been missing her input on the on this challenge. I know Me too. she's great. <laughs> She's a good anyway, observer. Everybody is a support to each other, and that's that's just so fun. And everybody's comments, each one of you guys making your comments on there is is what adds to the team and make it makes it fun. And before we got on, we should tell before everybody got on, we should announce Larry's. Oh yeah, please do. Oh, so we had a little contest to see who would invite the most who joined the 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 April games. And so um, we had quite a few people, probably four or five people who were on the games before that invited somebody new this time to join. And so and they did. Yeah. And so everybody had just one. And so I thought, well, how am I going to figure out who's going to be the winner? And so I went into everybody's points to see how many invite how many days people invited. And there were two people who invited every, all 14 days that you possibly could. And- Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, that's cool. great. And so, yeah, it, it gave them 140 points for doing that. They got 10 points a day. But anyway, only one of those two brought in a new client. I mean, a new game player. And so it seems very logical that that should be the winner, right? So, hip hip hooray yeah. for Larry Petrie. Our very Yay, Larry! <laughs> See? Yep. He's bowing. This is good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he gets a big $25 reward. Yay. More money in the PayPal. <laughs> anyway. Another hey. challenge I can join. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, anyway, so, well, this is fun. Well, I think that we have reached our 829 moment. We don't even have to go that long. Uh, and do, do any of you have some parting words you'd like to share with you? No. Before we leave you to, you know, I'm sure that you want to go downstairs and exercise and stuff. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I have to finish my taxes. Oh. oh, we were talking about that. Thanks for getting on, Peggy. G whiz. Make sure you read the anti-stress reading, right? Before that's you, right. <laughs> before you go to bed. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Well, thank you so much for getting on, and thank you for the parts that you all play. I, you know, it's very interesting that our journeys are all a little bit different. And so when you write about them, it's nothing but encouraging to the rest of us. So bully for you. Keep writing. Keep writing. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we will talk next week. Yay. Well, yay. Thank Thanks for being such great coaches for us. Yes. Our pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for being on. Drive safe, Mel. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.